Welcome back fishing friends to Burley Fishing or thanks for stopping by if this is your first time on the channel. And if this is your first time here and you guys like the content you see today, be sure to subscribe, smash that like button, hit notification bell so you can see when I post more videos. Today, we're doing an unboxing. We are doing the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box versus the Monster Bass Regional Box. This is for the Midwest Great Lakes region, just to be sure, which Here's the season right now, guys. I've done a lot of ice fishing. I was in Florida for a little bit. Florida stunk, ice fishing was great. And uh, you know, the ice is melting. We're warming up, it's 44 degrees today. I probably got two more weeks of ice. On my home lakes, not that safe. Unfortunately, it never got a chance to really get thick. I went up north with a buddy. You guys will be seeing some videos drop on the Facebook page of all the fun we had. I caught a massive uh, so go to the social media channels for that Instagram at Burley Fishing, Facebook, Facebook.com backslash Burley Fishing. If you guys want to see more of that good action. Uh, that said, we also are starting a podcast. It's really going to be a podcast for beginners to outdoor sporting, uh, all the way up to avid outdoorsmen. So there should be a lot of things to enjoy. My buddy that is on that podcast with me, Paul Glass, is what I would call a more avid and educated outdoorsman than myself. Uh, but he is there to help moderate and carry out some awesome topics I think you guys will find interesting. So stay tuned. You can catch that podcast. It's the Burley Fishing Podcast anywhere you can find podcasts, and we'll be dropping that very soon. So let's get to this unboxing today. Oh, by the way, have you seen the new logo? Let me know if you like it. Uh, it was made for me by a buddy that I work with at my other job, my main gig, uh, and some of his design students worked it up for me, so I'm super excited about that. We also have a new banner. If you guys like it, let me know in the comments. If you don't, don't let me know in the comments because I like it, so leave me alone. Let's get to this unboxing today. So we've got the MTB Pro. Uh, by the way, this is for February 2020. The boxes didn't arrive in time for my Florida trip. I was gone too long and you know, after all the ice fishing happened, we just didn't get around to it. So I apologize, but if anything, this is gonna give you an idea of what these boxes are capable of if you're not already a subscriber of either of them. Uh, and of course, we're gonna compare the two. So if you're on the fence about which one to go with, maybe this video will help you do that. And again, as always, in the comments below, let me know what your favorite baits are that we find in each of these boxes. And maybe let me know which one you like, right? MTB versus Monster Bass, who's the champ? Who's the hashtag better box, right? So let's get to it. I think last month we started out with MTB, so let's start with Monster Bass this month. Yeah, well, let's just, we'll just crack them both of them. Let's do that. Actually, I think last month we did like a uh, bait for bait. Let's do that, right? So we got Monster Bass, this month is a Monster Bass takeover by MLFer, ML, MLFer, uh, Major League Fishing Bass Pro Jason Christie. So if you guys aren't following him, go check him out on his social medias. Follow that guy. Kind of, he kind of knows what he's doing. Uh, as for MTB, not a takeover, but. I think just some, we'll probably get some good like late winter, early spring fishing gear out of both of these boxes. So let's take a look. First off, this is the guy, Jason Christie. So Monster Bass has this nice little handout. It's telling me what we are getting. And based on that, I'm pumped I fish all these things. So lots of good stuff ahead for us. We have the Mountain Dew Monster Bass Sticky. I like that. Uh, my One of them's on my table here. The other, this one's going on the boat. So we'll put that one on the boat. Uh, it's for MTB. Insert with the values if you guys are interested in that. It's the price or the retail value of each of the baits that you'll see in this box. Keep that on that side. Sharp objects, get out of here. You got your The Dibble Digest with your tips and tricks and crossword puzzles and weird stuff like that. This month we're, oh, okay. How to fish a jerk bait, how to fish a drop shot. I imagine those are the baits we're gonna see in this box. I think uh, there's probably some tips in that Jason Christie handout too. So both of them. Uh, I know Monster Bass likes to do like videos. So if you guys follow Monster Bass, which you should, then you're gonna see some tips on there. And Carl's uh, Bait and Tackle or MTB or Catch Co or any of those parent companies, you can go follow them and they drop tips too. Uh, this month we have a, a bobber bomb. <laughs> from Catch Co. That's a, that's a pretty cool sticker. 
I like it. I could dig it. Both these stickers are going to find a home somewhere on the boat. So we'll get to that. All right. So box versus box. So far, we did the sticker. Let's get to the baits. First up, we have uh, a walking bait. This is a head and spook. He Heaton? 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 Tell me the pronunciation in the comments, please. Head and super spook junior. Um, I actually have not this color. So I have like a, a bone and blue. Is it like white and blue? color I don't have the bone color so this will be something new um, if you guys have ever fished walking baits just a topwater bait uh, you fish it in kind of a jerky action it's gonna just kind of zigzag through the water like this cause a little bit of a wake uh, it looks pretty good and they are one of those like legendary baits it just gosh dang catches fish so if you've never fished one get this box man it's a little late hashtag it's March this is a February box, but just go pick up a Super Spook or Super Spook Junior over at any of your fishing retailers. You'll find one. They're definitely there. Uh, all right, so that's from Monster Bass. Let's jump over to a comparison bait to the MTB. We have the Guggen Squad. This is the Scout. Okay, so looks like that. There's a heck of a lot of rattle and balls in there. There's about eight of them. So this thing is gonna be really loud, right? We got some good sticky hooks on there, three of them, as you guys can see. It's not a super giant jerk bait, but it's a decent size that we can work with. Shallow lip, so it's gonna dive a little bit, uh, but mostly like with jerk baits, we're fishing it in that like quick jerky action. We're making it move erratically in the water. Again, like I said, you're probably gonna see some late winter, early spring type baits, especially things that I can throw up here once the ice is out of my way. Pretty excited about this. I could fish this actually in the rivers. The rivers are clear right now. The water has dropped. Yay, hopefully we don't have like a big floody year like we had last year. So we'll see what we can do. So yeah, these dive to about four to six feet. Uh, this one's like a, a four incher, right? Four inch size to half ounce. Um, pretty standard jerk bait that I would be throwing around and it's in a good colorway. Looks good. All right, so we got a jerk bait. So going over here, we got a jerk bait, right? So we have a rattle and rogue. I actually have another one of these. I don't remember what box it came from though. Oh, it was, probably a, it was probably a Strike King version of this, but sim kind of a similar colorway. So this is a Smithwick Floating Rattle and Rogue. Looks like that. Got a good flashy pattern there. So we got that nice blue to the silver, flashy chrome to the orange on the bottom. So should get like a good visual, good visual flash there. We've obviously got the rattle a little this one's more of a thump it's more of a tinny sound so a little a little variation there right and throw two different types of jerk baits that one looks good as well awesome that's again from monster bass so let's go back to mtb hang with me here these i love already just because they are one of my favorite colorways in these bug style beaver style baits Right, so this is from Carl's Amazing Baits. There's only four of them in here, unfortunately, so it is sort of a sample pack. Uh, but we've got some good looking action once we break that off. Okay, I've read kind of a subtle, not too crazy action. These flaps sort of just go, or these appendages, I guess, just go back and forth. They don't move out too much, they seem pretty, pretty tight to center, as you can see. We've got these little extra appendages right here. But it is a really nice colorway. It's that split color, sort of a subtle green pumpkin on top. Hopefully you guys can see that difference there, right? To a more like neon chartreuse kind of green on the bottom. This is a color I do like to throw a lot. This is a downsized variation from what I have. I think the one I throw the most is like Missile Baits, the D-Bomb. Uh, and it's, a, a, I don't know probably an inch bigger than this. It's quite a bit bigger, uh, but this will be nice to throw. I'll find something to do with it and it's gonna catch some fish. So that's our first plastic from MTB. Let's hop back over to Monster Bass to the plastics. We have a Christy Craw, naturally, Jason Christie's box, right through the hanging thing. Get out of here. Open, you dingus. 
All right, we done did it. I guess the knife has to stay out. All right. So, Christy Craw. I like these ones. The uh, little appendages here, the little claws. They have this big old honking flapping piece right there. So it's gonna kick up a ton more water than your standard craw is gonna do. It's a good size, not too enormous. Something we could throw now, or we could always just like bite off the tip of it, cut it down, uh, even just to this point right here. Throw that on a smaller jig. She's gonna do some work. Color of this one is this candy grass, watermelon candy, right? So we got like some purple, green fleck in there, the base green pumpkin color. It's good, something I would probably throw a lot. All right, so plastic V plastic. I like both of those. Let me know in the comments what you like. Well, let's go back over to MTB. It looks like we have at least two more plastics in MTB, only one more uh, over in the Monster Bass. So this one's a little different, not something I've thrown before. So Weston ring tees. Uh, this is gonna be drop shotted mostly, but you could also Texas rig. You could rig it to a ball head jig or really any type of jig for that matter. Again, with making me tear this stuff open, it's fine. Go right into my big old plastic container. All right, so, okay, that's cool. Multiple colors. You don't really see that ever. So we have a whole bunch of different colors here. Uh, so it's kind of nice. As long as you don't lose the bait, you can essentially take one package and have multiple presentations depending on water clarity and conditions. So that's a, that's a cool concept. That's a cool idea. Again, as long as you don't lose any of them, right? So let's open this up. Let's just check one of these out. We'll go with this brightest one down here. Okay, so we've got this green, yellow, orange tipped paddle tail right there. You can see that this thing is gonna have like a ton of action. It's got the ribs on it, so it's gonna move a lot of water. A little bit of a stretch to it. We got eyes on there too, so it's kind of cool. You can see where, I mean, it's pretty long. At this point, I wouldn't tip it on a, on a jig or even a drop shot. It's not gonna really work that way uh, for me here. But if you guys are a little further south, maybe some warmer water, you could probably kill on this thing. Uh, for me, maybe a little bit later into the spring season, I'll throw this onto a swim bait hook of some sort. Uh, maybe even a bladed hook would be really good or an underspin. And this thing will probably do a lot of work. So I like that. That's cool. It's a really cool variation on a paddle tail. I like the action that'll have. The ribs are cool. Having the different colors in here is cool. I don't like this, this packaging much from Weston. It's not like a snap shut clamshell. It's got like these weird little tabs. I mean, it works. It's just a little frustrating. <laughs> but anyways, that's something I will probably keep in my plastics bin and throw as soon as I can. I like it. Moving on. Going back to Monster Bass. We have the Yum Baits. Always a good classic. I have a ton of these, the Yum Dinger. I don't know if you guys follow Yum Baits, they've been posting these pretty hilarious videos uh, with the Yum Dinger. It's got some dude in a, in a Dinger mascot outfit, a couple guys in a Yum Bass outfit <laughs> running around. Uh, it's good, go, go look it up. All right, so this Dinger we've got in the Green Pumpkin. Okay, so solid Sanko style bait, right? Good old, good old fashioned plastic worm. These things hold up, they're pretty durable. Um, I've thrown these things a lot. Uh, they got a good amount of action, pretty narrowed tip to the worm right there. And I mean, you, if you guys fish for bass, you've used these before, I don't gotta tell you how to rig it up. I prefer to wacky rig them or Texas rig them. I like that a lot. All right, so Monster Bass doing some good things right now. I throw every single one of these. Really, I mean, I guess the only thing from MTB I wouldn't throw right now is this West End guy. It's just a little big for where I'm fishing. But again, warmer water bass, you guys would probably kill it on that. Going back to MTB here, we have the Dynacraw 2X from Bass Dynasty. Let's take a look at what this guy has. Okay, thank you packaging for not, you know, making me tear this thing apart. So I can hang it on my wall, that'll be nice. This is a really interesting craw. Craw bug style, just like short and fat, just wide, right? That's interesting. We got the 
good old water flappers here. They're gonna move a crap ton in the water. Leg appendages, we got the antenna, that looks really cool. Yeah, good, good size for me to be throwing right now. Again, tip a jig, ball head jig, Ned rig this, um, you know, Texas rig it. Just a smaller presentation, that would be good for me. I don't throw black and red too much, but it's something I would throw in maybe some dirtier water, uh, which our rivers are pretty dirty right now with the spring runoff and all that. So I'll probably get a chance to throw it. Um, again, only four, I think only, only four baits in there. So I have, you know, so I have three things of plastic so far from MTB. I only got four of this one, four of the Carl's Amazing Baits. These guys, uh, this Weston had the most in it. I think that's six, yeah. So just just something to say over here on the Yum Baits, I got, uh, I got eight dangers. It's gonna last me uh, a week if I fished every day. Uh, and then we've got the Christy Craw eight pack in there too, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, we're back to monster bass. So next up on the monster bass, we have a medium dive and square bill, which is a cotton cordial. Gotten some of their baits in the past. Definitely don't mind them. Let's pop this baby out. Solid color, chrome, flashy, flashy silver there. See my reflection in it, it looks great. Uh, and then we've got actually a flashy bill as well rather than the see-through bill so something a little different to throw that black on top got your little gill spot on the side decent decent hooks not too bad i'd like a little little better hooks on it ideally but these will catch fish for a little while and then a little little spot right there right so looks good looks good i like it i will definitely throw it Smaller square bills right now are gonna be amazing. Uh, medium diving crank as soon as that ice clears out for me. All right, so back to MTB. Hey, these are gonna be even, this is great. All right, so back to MTB, we've got the live shotten. This is not new to me anymore, uh, this style of drop shot. I've gotten some of these hooks in the past, but this is a great variation on it. So this is a large fry pattern. Good for bass, walleye, panfish, whatever. Let's get these guys out of here. Whoop, there goes one of them. All right, so this is the standout drop shot style hook. So you run the line through here and it's gonna hold the hook like that just a lot better. I'm shaking like crazy, coffee in the morning. Uh, it's just gonna hold the hook a lot better in this horizontal presentation. Uh, easy to rig, very easy to rig. And this is nice, like you can either, uh, if we wanna really downsize, go more subtle approach, we don't put anything on this hook. So, you know, we've got this nice pattern on here with the chartreuse and white, a little bit of flash in there, we get the eyes on it. You don't need to put anything on this. So this is the easy drop shot rig. You just do this, run the line through the hook, it's gonna have a horizontal presentation and it'll do probably like a little uh, ball pinch weight at the bottom, it's totally fine. So everything you need right there, boom, easy drop shot. And drop shots, of course, will work. This is actually something I will throw uh, once the ice clears. This would be a good bait for me, even up here. And it's just an all around great bait that most people have been throwing a long, long time. So you can trust it. Let's go back to monster bass. We have another hard bait here, going with a lipless. This is a Booyah Baits Hard Knocker. So as the name implies, Got a hard knock to it. Nice colorway there. This is a yellow perch pattern with the red eyes. Looks awesome. Something that should definitely kill it, I think, right now in spring, winter. Got that little striped body, red eye, dark top, little orange tip on that uh, belly. So that looks good. Yeah, obviously lipless is something I will be throwing in the spring. It's so great. There's so many things I'm gonna actually use out of these boxes. I'm excited. Oop, before we do that. Got here. So going back to MTB, this, I almost bought one of these recently. I was just intrigued by it really more than anything else. Oh, there we go. So this is called a knuckle bait. It's held on by a staple. That's weird. Get out of here. Okay, so this is a knuckle bait. 
So it's similar to a spinner bait, same exact kind of setup, actually a much more stout hook on this one than a normal spinner bait, but that's fine. Got like a nice white pattern, uh, again, a little bait fish, maybe an injured bait fish style pattern. Uh, but instead of having the blades up top, you're gonna have this little ball. The idea is that this ball is gonna cause a lot more erratic action with this bait than you would get out of a normal spinner bait. So the whole thing's gonna be moving like a lot more. Really interested to see what this looks like in the water. I've never fished this. Again, this is a Yozuri knuckle bait. No idea, never thrown it. If you guys have thrown it and you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know in the comments too. Uh, but that is interesting. Novel at the very least, I'm excited to throw it. Going back to Monster Bass, so we're down to just three more baits here. Let's punch through these guys. So we have a classic here, the Booyah Spinner Bait, in a good color. Got that white with a red eye. Definitely a good variation of throw. We've got a Colorado and a Willow Leaf Blade on there, uh, which is pretty standard, something I would throw, with a little gold and silver, good for multiple conditions. Uh, but this is all around just a, a great spinner bait not too expensive you can pick up a whole bunch of these for not a lot of money and you might want them especially in the spring uh, so i'm going to be interested in throwing this a lot right uh mtb second to last bait overall this is the last mtb bait not a bait it's actually a drop shot weight so we just got some standard drop shot ball weights so lead weight ball shape gonna do good in most conditions most spots Pinch style, so you're just gonna run the line right through that, pull it up, and then I prefer to tie just a little, little not on top of that, just to be safe, make sure the weight doesn't pop off. And we're gonna, of course, pair that up with our fry pattern uh, horizontal drop shot hook here. So I think that'll look really good and fish really well. Last thing. So we have the Daiichi straight shank worm hook and a two aught. That's gonna be obviously to pair up with our Yum Dinger so we can Texas rig that and do some work because it definitely will. All right, I think that's everything from both these boxes. So again, in the comments, let me know which box you think had the better baits this month. Uh, from the Monster Bass, we had Daiichi Straight Shanks. I just showed you guys Super Spook Junior in the bone. This is the Smithwick Floating Rattle and Rogue. We've got the Booyah Hard Knocker Lipless. We've got the Cotton. We've got the, we've, we've, we've got, we've got, oh my God. We've got the Cotton Cordal Square Bill. We've got this Booyah Blade Spinner Bait. Still going. We've got the, Christy Craw from Yum, eight of them, very important to note. The good old Yum Dingers, right? And this cool sticky. From MTB, we've got a drop shot setup. Two of these live shot and drop shot hooks. To pair up with that, we got our lead ball weights here. Uh, just Carl Stash lead ball weights. Got the Yozuri knuckle bait, knuckle buster, if you will. We have the Guggen Squad Scout Jerk Bait. Carl's Amazing Baits, this little beaver style guy. In a uh, good color though. Green Pumpkin Chartreuse, but only four of them. We've got the Weston Ring Tees. Something we can drop shot. Uh, I, you know, maybe if you got warmer water, like I said, jig style, uh, Texas Carolina rig, whatever. That one's pretty cool, multiple colors, right? That had six of them, so that's that's a decent decent plastic. Something new. Uh, we have the Bass Dynasty. This is the Dynacraw, right? Again, only four, black and red. And we had the Bobber Bomb sticker. All right, guys, that was it. Which one did better, Monster Bass or MTB? Let me know in the comments. Let me know your favorite bait. What are you throwing right now? Do you have ice? Do you not have ice? Are you enjoying your fishing season? Uh, I'm jonesing for some more fish after we caught a whole bunch through the ice uh, this past weekend. So yeah, let me know what's going on with you guys. And of course, uh, like I mentioned, stay tuned. You guys can hit me up on social media if you wanna see some of the content from my previous ice fishing trips. It's gonna be on there, uh, at Burley Fishing on Instagram, 
facebook.com backslash Burley Fishing on Facebook if you want to follow the page uh, and see some good content there. Check out the new podcast when that drops next week, the Burley Fishing Podcast. Uh, we'll be talking all sorts of good stuff, lots of fun topics with my buddy Paul Glass. <laughs> We're going to do some deep dives into some fun topics I think you guys will enjoy listening to. Uh, you know, if you're just on your drive or if you're out fishing, you're like, well, you know, in between catches, maybe I want to listen to something pop that earbud in and give us a listen. Uh, if you guys like the content today, of course, smash that like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and get to fishing as soon as you guys can. I'll see you out there.